And here is the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, the 6th of February, 2021. It's the birthday of the paleoanthropologist Mary Douglas Leakey, born in London 1913, married Louis Leakey, the anthropologist, and together they worked in Tanzania, where they discovered the fossilized bones of early, early humankind. 1937, on this day, John Steinbeck's novella of Mice and Men was published. He wrote it when he and his wife Carol were living in his family's vacation cottage near Monterey Bay, California. Never meant for year-round living, but he built a fireplace, closed off the porch, and they made do. His wife worked as a secretary, and Steinbeck's parents sent him an allowance of $25 a month. He wanted to write in a new style, more like a play than a novel, a book that was tightly plotted and was heavy on dialogue, ready to be adapted to the stage. About two farm workers, George and Lenny. Lenny, who's big and strong and not too bright. George, small and smart, who looks out for Lenny. Steinbeck had finished most of the book when his new puppy chewed up half the manuscript. He did not have a copy, and so he had to reconstruct it. Steinbeck said, I was pretty mad. But the dog may have been acting critically. The book came out on this day in 1937. It got great reviews and became a big success. It's the birthday of the lexicographer Eric Partridge, born near Gisborne, New Zealand, 1894, who wrote books like A Dictionary of Slang and Unconventional English and A Dictionary of the Underworld. And it's the birthday of Babe Ruth, George Herman Ruth, Baltimore, Maryland, 1895. His parents operated a tavern. He almost never saw them, and when he was seven, they took him to an orphanage, and they left him there. And there he learned how to play baseball. He was signed by the Baltimore Orioles, who traded him to the Boston Red Sox in 1914. He was a star pitcher, but hit a record 29 home runs in the 1919 season. And the next year, the Red Sox traded him to the New York Yankees, where the next year he hit 54 home runs. In 1929, Babe Ruth signed a contract for 80000 a year, more than the president of the United States, Herbert Hoover. And Babe Ruth said, why not? I had a better year than he did. Here's a poem for today, a sonnet by William Shakespeare, his sonnet number 27, Weary with toil, I haste me to my bed. Weary with toil, I haste me to my bed, the dear repose for limbs with travel tired. But then begins a journey in my head to work my mind when body's works expire. For then my thoughts from far where I abide intend a zealous pilgrimage to thee and keep my drooping eyelids open wide, looking on darkness which the blind do see, save that my soul's imaginary sight presents thy shadow to my sightless view, which, like a jewel hung in ghastly night, makes black night beauteous and her old face new. Lo thus, by day my limbs, by night my mind, for thee and for myself no quiet find. Shakespeare's sonnet, Weary with Toil, I Haste Me to My Bed, is sonnet number 27. That's the Writer's Almanac, funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. 